If you're an active swing trader and you just bet one side of the market, that means you only buy stocks, this video will change your whole perspective of trading stocks. This long short strategy is mainly used by hedge funds. Lately I started using it and you can profit from any market condition. Even if it stays break even, the long stocks can go up, the shorts can go down, the general market which is the SPY can stay break even. So I'll divide this video into two parts. The first part I'll explain you the strategy and the second part I'm going to give you real examples on stocks that I'm trading on. The time that I'm recording this, currently in the background, I'm at 7k profit. It's a new record for me. <laughs> so anyway, let's start with the video. We can represent the market by S&P 500, which within S&P 500, there's many sectors, like there's the tech sector, healthcare, and many more. The key for this strategy, you need to find stocks that are outperforming the market, and you believe that it will go down, and you need to find stocks that are underperforming the market, and you believe that they will go up. So you just go short on the stock that you believe that will go down and you buy the stock that you think it will go up. Now the market drops and the stock that is overbought can drop 10% and the stock that is already oversold can just go down around 5%. If you get in the same amount per trade on both of them, let's say 10k, on the short you'll make 1k profit and on the long you're just going to lose $500 so in total you're going to make $500 profit let's say now the market went up the same example the overbought stock won't go as much as the oversold stock so the oversold stock will go up by 10% and the stock that you short will go up by 5% so the first one you're going to make $500 loss on a 10k trade because it went up by 5% and you're short and on the long th you'll make 1k profit because the stock went up by 10% which in total again it's $500 the last example is if the market stays break even which is exactly what happened this week and I'm going to give you the examples based on this so the stock that you're short can drop 2% and the stock that you're long can go up by 3% so there's a sector that went down and a sector that went up if you add up both you can consider the market is break even but within that the stock that you short you're making profit and the long you're making profit so as you see the secret in this strategy is to find the right stocks if you pick the right stocks there's a high chance that you make money this is the S&P 500 map currently, the one week performance. So from this I'm going to pick stocks to buy and stocks to short. If you check quickly, you see that the energy and the real estate sector outperformed the market. So I'm going to look at this sector to short and you can see some other sectors like the consumer, it underperformed the market like Starbucks, Nike, Amazon, this kind of stocks. And we have the technology sector, which almost stayed break even. There's one more thing. Within those sectors, I filter out stocks based on technical analysis. So with this strategy, S&P almost was break even this week. And I made 15% on my trading account, which I made around $15,000. So this is where we're going to analyze our trades. S&P, which is almost break even. If you're going to be exact, almost 1% upward. So I made 15% and S&P just made around 1%. So within this time frame, I'm going to explain you why I took each trade. So as you guys see, the market was almost break even that time. And I'm going to show you my trades, how I could outperform the market. So let's start with some trades. I want to show you, for example, CNI was oversold and it's within my long strategy so i bought cni and you can see how cni bounced back around 10 percent from my entry at the same time i did another trade which is short on ups you can see i went short on ups at the stop you can see from the chart it's clearly overbought 
And now if we check the chart of UPS, it dropped to my target, which was around 7 to 8%. So at the same time, even though market was break even, there was sectors that are oversold, sectors that are overbought. So very simple, I buy one and I short the other. Another example from the stock map, there was the energy and the material sectors, they were clearly outperforming the market. You can see one example, for example, on STLD. I went short on STLD at the top. And at the same time, tax sectors and consumer sectors were struggling. I went long on those. So you can see STLD dropped. I was selling call options. I was in 90% profit. I just took profits. The drop was around 8% from the highs. And at the same time, there was stocks that they were struggling like Tesla, PLTR, this kind of stuffs that uh, ARK invest like. So I went long on those, Tesla, Tesla and PLTR. You can clearly see PLTR bounced around 35-40% from our entry. Same thing with Tesla, but lower percentage. I got in at the dip and it bounced around 10%, which I took profits there. The trades that we're talking about now, it's with shares. To increase my win rate in my strategies, I'm, use, I'm selling options. For example, if the stock is overbought, I sell call options. Oversold, I sell puts. And those puts will be around 30 day expiry because time decay will have the most effect on them. So I can make profit even if I'm wrong in the direction. You can see here on UPS when I went short when it was 214. After a few days, it was holding this level and it was almost break even. But if you check the option that I went short in swing sell alert, yes, you can see even though the stock was break even, the option was losing its value because of time decay and maybe implied volatility. So even if I was wrong in the direction it went up, I could still end up in 50 to 60% profit in, on the option. So you can see on a winning strategy, I'm trying to do something to increase even more my win rate. And I can happily say that I had 100% win rate since the start of 2021 on these large cap stocks, not on penny stocks or on the meme stocks. On this strategy, I had 100% win rate. I currently share all my trades for free. You can join our chat room and you can see everything. I share the trades and I show my wins and losses. You can see this many times happening. The market can be up a bit and the stocks that I'm long they are green and the stocks that I'm short, they are in red. This is a backtest of my long strategy. You can see it's clearly profitable. And this is a backtest of my shorting strategy. They are both profitable. And if I implement both of them into one strategy, I'm filtering out the risks of the market doing sudden upward or downward move. So in general, this is a great strategy. And that's why hedge funds using the strategies they are profitable even if the market stayed red that year. So I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.